Hey everybody, Chillcraft here. I want to thank everybody for the feedback that you guys have given on the last couple of videos. It's really helped drive where I think this channel might go with the Goblin Gold series. Just hearing some of the success stories that you guys have had really inspires me to think about more opportunities for making gold myself as well as sharing that information. So one of the things that I've been working on recently is cooking. Um, cooking, I think, is a very underrated profession that everybody should be picking up. And it's one that I've been using to make a lot of uh, seed money, which I'll talk about. Um, seed money is just, you know, a term used for money for investments, um, which I think are going to be very important for driving future growth and making money. So today I wanted to talk about why I believe you should pick up cooking and why it's going to make you some nice money. The first point is that cooking is very undervalued. Um, it's, it's basically a poor man's alchemy. The recipe for the most part are going to either give you stam and spirit or, you know, mana plus five or something like that. And because those aren't stats that a lot of classes look at and say, Hey, I really want a lot of stam or spirit. You're going to have this conception that it isn't as valuable. Um, the other, the other part that really drives the undervalue of uh, cooking is that everybody can pick it up so for for this reason a lot of people will focus on the the, the first the secondary the primary the secondary profession and they won't stick with cooking and they won't make money with it cooking doesn't really provide a lot of value early on is very much like fishing where the meat the mid-level category really you really start to see some value from it the second point with why i believe cooking should be picked up by everybody is that you get easy access to materials as you're leveling the beasts are going to be dropping food if you do a grinding spot you're getting access to a lot of food and you shouldn't need to really work to farm mats for cooking i haven't been going been going out of my way but it was actually when i was leveling up in the barrens that i really kind of said man cooking's pretty amazing um i'll talk about the the recipe that i kind of stumbled upon that i i really opened my eyes to the value of cooking there's going to be an overload of materials for cooking and that basically fills up the auction house with you know items whether it's you know raptor flesh or uh, boar meat or you know whatever it is you're looking for you can find it and you get easy access to it the third point is that the true value is hidden so on the leather working guide you guys started asking me okay how do you determine the value for leather working you know it's it's kind of going up and down on my server and my thought was with the leather working guide i was going to provide self-sustenance through skinning but i realized now that a lot of people aren't going to be doing that so because of that i tried to identify at least on the leather market what is the true value of let's say a stack of light leather uh, medium leather or whatnot and i'm still kind of working that out and I'll, I'll probably put that out later on but with cooking and the way that it works with vendors it's a lot more evident what the true value is but if you haven't been leveling up cooking you won't be able to quickly identify what is the true value and as i said before the mid levels of cooking is where you really start to make a killing because the true value is hidden really well so i kind of stumbled upon this when i was questing in the barrens um, the recipe in question is the crispy lizard tail now these will sell for two silver and 50 copper and as you pick up a, a lizard tail you'll see that the vendor for these are 28 copper um, and it needs a hot spice for 40 copper to make one of these but the key is that each of these tails will actually make two crispy lizard tails so this increases the value where when you subtract that cost the true value of one lizard tail is actually two silver and ten copper each so on the auction house itself any sort of lizard tail i'm seeing under one silver i'm buying it 
and I'm able to flip that and make that, you know, silver almost instantly. There's not a lot of work that needs to be done. And so the true value of cooking is really hidden. With this kind of discovering this a little bit, I've gone into other additional cooking recipes. And I'm actually going to, that's that's what I'm working on right now is what I think are your top five uh, cooking recipes to actually make money. And I've been able to kill it so far. At the moment, I have about 10 gold invested. I have about five gold on hand. And I've been able to equip three different characters with uh, 12 and 10 slot bags. So right now, this this value might change. But for right now, cooking is a great way to make that seed money, which we'll talk about in, in a later video, which really helps open up the game for you to make bigger investments and make more money. So hopefully this video has been great. Hopefully it's inspired you to think a little bit more about cooking. In a couple of days, I think I'm going to be trying to get out a video twice a week in between, you know, playing the game and streaming. If you want to check me out, I'm, I've basically parked a couple of my characters in front of the auction house. You want to chat about making money. You can follow me on Twitch. I'll have the link below. If not, please go ahead and subscribe and let me know also what sort of things you're interested in and I'll be working on that shortly. Take care everyone.